Since its inception nearly two years ago, I have been somewhat critical of GTA Plus. I put out a couple of videos, at least like one or two rants. Going back to May 2023, I put out a short, which took me, what, 60 seconds to make. I read over a GTA Plus, whatever was available back in May, and I had something to say about it. I pulled out my phone, I recorded my computer monitor, said what I had to say, and then I uploaded it. And then I, I moved on with my life. Little did I know that that one particular short that I posted back in May 2023 would get such a response. Mostly positive if you go by the like-dislike ratio. But there's definitely a lot of comments that don't exactly share my opinion. And they're very, very vocal about how they feel, about how I feel, when it comes to GTA+. Plus. Most will defend GTA Plus on the $6 a month because, yes, to most people out there, $6 is not a lot of money. Now, unfortunately, it is auto pay, auto subscription, similar to gym membership, and you have no choice but to have it to auto pay in order to have that particular subscription, in this case, GTA Plus. Over time, it does add up. You know, six dollars a month for twelve months a year, coming up on what twenty-four months since uh, it became a thing on current gen PS5, Xbox Series for GTA Online, and yeah, there are those that still actively enjoy whatever content or benefits come with GTA Plus that play GTA Online on a regular basis. But there's also plenty that will get GTA Plus because of a free car are some other benefit like exclusive clothing that comes out that they really want and they feel like, okay, well, I'm willing to spend six bucks a month for this unique clothing items. I feel like that's acceptable to me. And once again, it's your money. Spend it how you wish. And all too often, they'll forget to cancel the auto renew. And then a month goes by and then another month goes by. And then they end up spending way more than they anticipated on because they're focused on real life, you know, family, work, school, etc. And time flies. And yet six more bucks keep going out of their account month after month after month. Out of sight, out of mind. And that's what Rockstar and Take Two are counting on when it comes to GTA Plus. And then you have the really cute comments. The ones that accuse me of being poor, living in my mama's basement, even though both my parents are long deceased. Like their entire defense is, brah, it's only six bucks a month. What are you poor? What are you looking for money? Are you looking for a handout? No. But these kind of comments are to be expected. But since May 2023, when I put out that GTA Plus uh, short, Rockstar has actually included some additional features that does make GTA Plus feel a bit more worth the cost. So this is kind of an interesting situation I find myself in. I don't want GTA Plus. I, at the moment, have no interest in GTA Plus, but I am willing to acknowledge when Rockstar adds additional features to GTA Plus that might make $6 seem a little bit better of a deal for what you're getting out of this subscription service. They added the Vinewood Car Club Garage, which allows you to store up to 100 vehicles. And at this point in GT Online, a lot of people are running out of garage space because we have a limited amount of garage space for vehicles and Rockstar continues to drip out vehicles into the game over the past 10 years. And there are definitely players that like to buy the cars. They end up having to make hard choices and they don't want to part ways of a certain collection they have, whether it's the Uber Mox, the uh, Beamers, or supercars, or muscle cars, or sports cars, or whatever vehicles suit their fancy that they like to purchase and store in their various garages. Thanks to the Vinewood Car Club Garage, you can get up to 100 slots for vehicles, which means you can own 100 more vehicles in GTA Online. Now, what's even better about this, if you want the Vinewood Club Garage, but you don't want to keep paying six bucks a month, all you got to do is just pay for one month and you automatically have access to that garage. 
And what you can do is just take 100 vehicles, I guess at the bottom of your list, and just jam-pack them into the Vinewood Car Club garage. Just put them in there, up to 100. Then you just cancel your auto renew, and you only end up spending six bucks for that hypothetical 100 garage that you could get via GTA+. Plus. Rockstar, to their credit, has already you know anticipated that people might not want to keep paying six bucks a month for GTA+, Plus, but might want that garage. According to Rockstar, quote unquote, you retain permanent access to all vehicles, but cannot store any additional vehicles. In other words, yeah, you can call up the garage and you can request vehicles from that garage post GTA+, Plus, but you can't add any more vehicles to the garage and you cannot take out any vehicles. Like, for example, let's just say there's a vehicle in that garage you want to sell or you want to relocate to a different garage. I don't think you're able to do that post your GTA Plus subscription. However, I could see the logic in a lot of players wanting that additional 100 car garage in order to store vehicles in their collection that they don't want to part with, but aren't exactly at the top of, of their list. In order to make room in their other garages for additional vehicles in the future. Something else that Rockstar has done in regards to additional benefits to GTA Plus is a bit of a hit and miss here. You got the ability to have access to some games. You can play these games for free for, I guess, a limited amount of time, as long as Rockstar has them available for you to play. So you could play through these games for the next few months, next few years, or next month. Rockstar decides to remove these games from the GTA Plus subscription service. So it's really up in the air how long you know, you'll be able to have access to the GTA Plus exclusive games. So they include at the moment GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition for Xbox and PlayStation. And then two other games that are also in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Liberty City Stories, Chinatown Wars. The difference is those games you cannot play on your PlayStation or Xbox. You have to download those via the Apple Store or Google Play for your smartphone. At the very least, Rockstar should have ported those games over to be playable on PlayStation and Xbox in order to add to the benefit of players that are obviously getting this service for PS5, Xbox Series. And then put the same games into the uh, Xbox PlayStation stores for everyone else to buy. Because there's plenty of people out there that wouldn't mind buying Liberty City Stories and Chinatown Wars on the Xbox and PlayStation, myself included. So they could have made additional money by porting those two games to current-gen consoles. And also last-gen, because they're probably easily playable on last-gen as well. A missed opportunity by Rockstar not to make those games ported to console and limit the access of Liberty City Stories and Chinatown Wars to your smartphone if you happen to have GTA Plus. Now, some of the GTA Plus benefits that you can obviously found on the GTA Plus website and in the menu of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 GTA Online on current gen include a free car, in this case, the Jugular, access to the Vinewood Club Garage, access to uh, exclusive clothing, as well as the Vinewood Club, which has uh, discounts on unique vehicles, 15% discount on shark cards, as well as $500,000 a month, 100% off the VIP CEO MC fees, VIP CEO vehicle request, exclusive taxi service, which I believe is a, a fast travel ability through the taxi in GTA Online for GTA Plus members, as well as increased discounts at the gun van. A lot of players out there easily can make $500,000 in the game off the various businesses as well as heists. And most of the time, the so-called free vehicle is not very good compared to others in its class. While I still don't think that GTA Plus is worth $6 a month, I do think there are some things Rockstar could do to make it a bit more enticing and where people actually feel like they're getting their money's worth. Uh, for one thing, double the amount you get instead of $500,000, a million dollars for GTA Plus subscription. Always have a business that is making at least double money for you, such as 
one of the biker businesses, the warehouse, the bunker, etc. Also include a free military vehicle, like a, a free attack helicopter, or a free fighter jet, or a free ground vehicle, like a free APC, a free rhino tank. And obviously, port over Liberty City Stories, Chinatown Wars, to the Xbox and PlayStation consoles. That, along with everything else, might make GTA Plus feel like it's actually worth paying $6 a month for. Thoughts, views, opinions regarding the current state and future of GTA Plus. Welcome, as always, below in the comment section.